Hello again. Uh, I came across a uh, group of people uh, who were doing um, arguments, uh, again, once again, on atheism, theism, uh, of various uh, flavors, deism, um, and yada yada. And I, found, and I came across a fellow agnostic on YouTube, this was about a week ago, who actually uh, issued a challenge to um, atheists, theists, and deists, and... Um, uh, you know, to uh, to prevent present evidence to validate their uh, their belief systems, and then said you're all validated in your beliefs um, largely because she couldn't figure out which one was the most appropriate. I, on the other hand, will continue that particular argument. But here are the criteria. Uh, I got uh, an agnostic. I also present agnostics, uh, um, strong agnostics, mild agnostics, what have you. I would like fellow agnostics to also present their cases for why they are agnostic. Just purely, this is just purely for fun. Um, the criteria. Okay, here is your. Um, here is the challenge. Uh, it's not really a challenge to specific people. It's just to any. And I'm not attacking any particular group. This is just a uh, an open-ended challenge, just for the hell of it. Um, I just like to see if anybody can actually convert me to their particular um, group. Uh, who knows? I'm hoping that I might even find some info out of this, which I may not know. So um, from this, theists. If any of any religion, uh, you are to. Uh, and I'm talking Christians, Jews, Muslims, Hindus, uh, Zoroastrians, Shintoists, um, uh, uh, African Shamanites who wish, worship the spirit Waki Waki. I mean, uh, you name your tradition, you've got it. Any sort of theistic, uh, uh, spirit-based, any sort of re religion, spiritual movement, what have you. Um, if you have a belief in something uh, besides the physical that we can see right now, present me your case for it. I am all ears. There are a couple of criteria that have to be met, however. No anecdotal evidence, scientific basis for, uh, you know, there has to be some scientific basis for your belief, and no logical fallacies. Now, atheists, you are to present me your case as well. Uh, feel free to uh, use it. But again, the, uh, the, de uh, the debate here has to be as false. And, and I am, I, oh, sorry, I, one other thing I forgot to mention for theists. You have to show in your evidence that it is statistically uh, that this evidence makes it either uh, necessary for the creator and uh, and on top of that that it also is makes it more likely mathemat you know makes it statistically more likely for a god to or or whatever your higher power is to exist than not exist and that also has to show that all the other that all the other religious traditions out there uh, there has to be some evidence which makes which conclude which not conclusively proves but proves beyond a reasonable level of doubt that, uh, i.e., you know, a 90% certainty or what have you, or, you know, beyond that uh, 0 0.05 level, we'll, we'll give it, say, a 95% confidence interval. That has to be within a 95% confidence interval that your tradition is correct and none of the others are. Now, of course, if it turns out that, the, that, uh, that your tradition has uh, uh, similarities with all the others and you can demonstrate that, uh, that they picked up the right bits versus the wrong bits, but again, it would still have to be under that same basis. Within a 95% confidence interval, your tradition must be demonstrable scientifically that it is the correct one and all the others are wrong. Now, for atheists, this is the other thing I want to ask you. You say that, uh, again, you cannot prove that there is no God. Correct. It is not a negative. However, some have said, and this is, a, um, this is what uh, Richard Dawkins clearly uh, has stated as in his last debate, which I heard about with, um, oh God, what's his name? Uh, this is the one down in Texas he had with uh, with some uh, uh, English um, professor of mathematics or something who was a theist. Um, I w uh, he stated that uh, ev uh, that uh, he stated that God is possible but highly unlikely. Now note that I'm not uh, suggesting even a creator God which which takes out evolution or something like that. Um, but creationists, you would actually have to show scientific evidence and none of those logical fallacies that I came across. Um, I will be also posting a link here for uh, the uh, for the largest list I've come across of cr of critical thinking fallacies and incorrect arguments that have been used by creationists before. So creationists, I want you to refer to this list. If your argument has been debunked on here, do not use it. You know, because I won't accept it otherwise. And I will be going through the list to check for uh, for arguments. Um, I ask for video responses uh, and private messages. Well. Feel free to use comments, but uh, due to the comment limit size and because of multiple comments and the like, and I might lose the, the thread of thought, I would appreciate video responses and please use multiple parts if you have to, in order to be able to um, in order to be able to do everything. Now, atheists, this is the other thing for you. Again, same scientific evidence and the like, but here is the crucial catch, and this is what I want you to demonstrate to me. Okay, like the theists, you have to demonstrate that it is more that it, uh, as Richard Dawkins said, a god is highly unlikely. 
So the thing is, though, is that highly unlikely means that there has to be, it's a greater probability that God does not exist than does exist. Or uh, Now, I know that we're talking about plurality here, and I know Occam's razor. Besides that, which is, you know, which is possible, but that still leaves the deist option because of M theory. What I would like, um, you know, as I stated before in previous videos, I would like you to clearly state to me uh, in a statistical, um, you know, uh, why, you know, uh, using scientific evidence, I would like you to give me a statistical calculation um, as to, or, you know, as to, you know, and this is the same. I would like you to scientifically and statistically demonstrate that a, that a creator of some sort is more unlikely then, uh, you know, a creator or a god or what have you of any sort is more unlikely than the universe having arrived at by purely natural, unintelligent means, i.e. no intelligent force behind it whatsoever. And I'm talking its initial, I'm talking its initial creation or intelligent design or what have you. Uh, I'm already an evolutionary proponent myself as being an agnostic, so uh, I don't think we need to debate that. The point is you have to be able to demonstrate that the inception of the universe um, is more likely to have been caused by a non-intelligent force than an intelligent one. I think that's the basic uh, concept here. Is that there is since there, you're saying there is no God, uh, there has to be a um, uh, there would have to be a demonstration of uh, that no intelligent force that it was by purely natural means. If you can demonstrate this scientifically and statistically, given the current available evidence, more so, I will move back over to your path and reject the uh, even the slightest possibility for deism. Now. Again, note that I've said that deism only has a possibility, but it's uh, based on my current understanding of how M theory would work about this. It only says that a universe could be created artificially, so um, I'm only fi I'm assuming that um, deism versus atheism is 50/50. Deists. That being said, about the M theory, um, you know, uh, what with uh, the uh, if I've understood the quote from parallel universes correctly, that only allows you a 50/50 shot at current times, which means you have to show me more evidence to suggest that an intelligent creator did in fact start this universe. And uh, one of the arguments uh, which I will be rejecting, and this is the same argument which creationists use, which I, you know, I uh, this is the one uh, argument I will not accept from any deist or theist. That the complexity of our universe automatically has to mean that there is a creator. There has to be some other form of evidence besides besides the complexity. It's sort of like um, uh, uh, a unit. Okay, um, uh, you know this universe is so complex that it had to have a creator. Therefore, a creator created this universe. And look at the complexity for its evidence. It's a, it's a form of tautology or self or, or circular reasoning. I won't accept that again. No logical fallacies. None of the usual creationist arguments. Again, which will be listed over in the link here. And um, finally from that, um, any, any theistic tradition, including deism, you have to show that your, uh, that your um, sorry, I should actually amend this slightly. I badly phrased one of my earlier um, requirements. Theists and deists, you have to show me that your, uh, that your tradition or your belief system through scientific evidence is more likely than any other tradition out there or even the atheistic system. What, am I, too, am I being too loud? Or two talking too much. Yeah, you're right, but I've, I've got to make this as thorough and airtight as possible. Okay, anyway, that's the challenge um, to atheists, theists, deists, and fellow agnostics. I'd like you to also tell me where you are on the spectrum of agnosticism and why you are there, um, in the hopes that maybe you can even try to convert me to your form of agnosticism. I consider myself a mild agnostic, so strong agnostics and agnostic theists and all this sort of thing, you've also got, um, uh, uh, that's the same requirements for you. So once again, the requirements for all groups are you have to show me using scientific evidence that your tr belief system is more likely, uh, is statistically more likely than, uh, than any other tradition. And for atheists in particular, that means you have to show me that it's statistically more unlikely that the universe was created by some sort of intelligent force, any tradition, that, uh, or that it was more likely created uh, or that it was more likely caused purely by natural means than by some intelligent force artificially using natural means. I think that pretty much covers it. Until that time, I remain yours truly an agnostic. Toodles!